Hey guys, uh, now we're going to practice figuring out the products from an acid-base reaction. And I'm going to have you classify the products as being either the conjugate acid or the conjugate base. Alright, let's get to it. So in the first reaction, uh, which is the acid and which is the base? So based on reference table K, you see that H3PO4 is listed as phosphoric acid. And you see that, so because H3PO4 is listed as an acid, it is automatically going to make water the base. So I'm going to just label acid and base. Okay, now predict the products of what's going to form from these two reacting. So from the acid donating a proton, it's going to turn into H2PO4 minus, and that's because it lost an H plus, and the water, that's the base, is gaining an H plus, so it's going to turn into H3O plus. Um, can you now label who the conjugate acid and who the conjugate base is? Remember, Whoever starts as an acid ends as a base, and whoever starts as a base ends as an acid. So this is now the conjugate base, and this is now the conjugate acid, because it switches. Starts as acid, ends as base, starts as base, ends as acid. Alright, for the next one, we have NH3 and HF. Figure out who the acid and base are. So this has the H in front, this is our hydrofluoric acid, and on your reference table you'll see NH3 is listed as a base, it's ammonia. So what products do you think they will form? You will form NH4+, plus because the base here accepted an H+, plus from the acid, whoop, and turned into NH4+, plus because it got an H and it got a plus and your um, acid since it lost its H plus is now left as F minus. Now go in and sign who the conjugate base is and who the conjugate acid is. So because the NH3 started off as a base it is going to be a conjugate acid in the products it always switches and that's because it now has the acidic proton. So because it has the acidic proton, it is now the base. You could also think of this acidic proton kind of as like a baton, like a track runner. So whoever has the baton is the one running, I guess. Um, so because here the acid has the proton or the baton, it's the acid. And since the baton moved on to this guy, now this guy has the baton. Now it's the acid. So, um, so in the products, it turns into an acid. And likewise, the acid, because it lost its baton, turns into the base. Um, the C stands for conjugate. Conjugate acid and conjugate base. Okay, last one. So we have H2PO4- minus and H3O+. Plus. So this you will see that there is no listed H2PO4- minus on your reference table. Um, but you should still be able to state who the acid and base is because you know that H3O plus is called hydronium. It is an acidic ion. It's what happens when you react an acid with water. Um, it turns the water into acid. So it's, um, it is an acid, H3O plus, called hydronium. So this guy has to be our acid, and that makes this guy our base. Predict what the products will be from this reaction. So because this guy is the acid, it's going to give an H plus onto the base. And so the base, H2PO4, now is H3PO4. And it went from being negative to neutral because it got the H+. Um, the plus and minus cancel charge out. 
so your product is H3PO4. Because the H3O plus lost an H plus, it now is neutral H2O. So label now the conjugate acid and the conjugate base. So this guy is going to be the conjugate acid um, because it was a base here and it got a proton, it got the baton, so it is now the acid. And the acid gave its baton up, so it turns into a conjugate base. What's interesting, and you might have noticed this before, but um, I actually have, so this is the forward reaction, H3PO4 plus water turns into these ions. And then I took that and I turned it back into its original. Um, now this turns into a question of equilibrium. Does the reaction favor the reactants or the products? Because again, you could always have the products turn back into reactants. Remember my um, demonstration, the iodine clock, where it turned colors and then you could turn it back. Um, I know I did other demonstrations too. So... Uh, yeah, in this case, because H3PO4 is a strong acid, um, this is going to favor the forward reaction, so these products are favored. So to summarize, the Bronsted-Lowry definition of acids and bases is nice because it's more general. The key thing is that the acid is donating the proton to the base. So it's H plus or it's baton is going right onto the base. Um, and that's what makes this an acid and this a base. This is called the acid donor, I mean the proton donor, and this is called the proton acceptor. All right.